Well, good morning. I'm Jerry Rudison, CEO of Flybits, here with Peter Kramerick, our Director of Development. Flybits is a software product company with a unique cloud-based offering. It's the easiest way for enterprise developers and the marketing teams that they support to create and change on the fly in real time very, very richly personalized mobile experiences and deliver them seamlessly on typical mobile apps, wearables, or mobile web pages. This is important, especially in banking. Like most enterprises today, retail banks in particular, like many financial institutions, really rely heavily on apps and mobile strategies as a way to engage with their customers. But a lot of apps are fairly generic and bland, and it turns out that great mobile really requires personalization. You don't want to deliver a cookie cutter, generic, one size fits all experience. Personalization requires context, and we talk about context at your service. Location is the most widely used type of context for mobile, but that's rarely enough. It's a blunt instrument. It's a good starting point, but it turns out that there's a vast array of sensors on these phones, a lot of public APIs and private APIs that banks have that they'd like to be able to harness to deliver a much richer kind of experience. But coding this from scratch is very daunting and time consuming. Flybits makes this way, way easier. So I'll give a quick overview of our solution and Peter will give an extended demo. So we have this platform in the cloud. It starts with an SDK that uh, you plug into your app. Usually people take an existing app and enhance it with Flybits. That takes about 15 minutes. That gives you access to Experience Studio. You'll be seeing that today. That's the visual interface that makes it very easy for you to weave in a big family of prepackaged context plugins, access to context sources, a bunch of moments, ways to deliver content and services, and then we do all the rest, hiding the complexity in real time and rendering this properly in the cloud. So you'll see a live demo. Uh, we're not a bank, but we have a banking app that a bank might have. You'll see real context plugins, rules, and moments. We're simulating a few data sources, and here's Peter. And you'll see our demo live today throughout the booth. Thank you very much, Jerry. So as Jerry introduced me, my name is Peter Kramerick. I am the director of development, or the platform director of Flybits. And what I'm going to be doing today is showing you guys a really quick demo of what the Flybits platform can do. I'm going to walk you guys through a simple use case of how we can quickly personalize your application and create some rules and semantics and associate it to our demo application, which I'll talk about in a little bit. As you all know, one of the biggest problems with mobile devices and mobile applications right now is if we were all to go to the App Store and download an app and turn it on, we would all most likely see the same thing. This is because apps don't necessarily consider who we are, what's happening around us, anything to do with device management, a lot of them just simply focus on location, where you are. What we want to try to do at Flybits is go beyond just location and offer different types of context plugins to application developers, marketing teams, and digital officers as well. So the way we do this is through a two-component approach, which you see on the screen. On the left-hand side, we have a web portal where application developers, marketing teams, etc., can log in, and we refer to this as our experience studio, as Jerry was mentioning. Uh, this is where we can create rules and semantics and associate those rules and semantics to specific content in our application. On the right-hand side, I have created an application that is enabled using Flybits that's supposed to s simulate a bank, in this case, the Flybits bank. It mimics a, bank, a regular banking application that you probably use on your smartphone. It has information such as your accounts, it has banking services in the middle, and a little small advertisement on the bottom to get you to engage with the application. As well, I've associated a profile with this user which indicates uh, since when they've been a member of this bank, their credit rating, and mortgage information about the user, which we will all use in the, in the use case that I'm about to discuss. So the way it works is our SDK, which is enabled in this application, is going to communicate directly to the Experience Studio, which is sitting in our, in our cloud. Um, with the help of uh, a back-end service, everything that we're going to do on the Experience Studio is going to be related to the mobile application itself. So what I'm going to do now is just pitch you guys a simple use case that you might see in a banking scenario. And then we're going to create that use case using both the Experience Studio and the application. I want you guys to consider me a perhaps an application developer at a bank or maybe a branch, branch manager, a bank manager. Uh, Currently in my branch, there's maybe a very low amount of foot traffic, and I noticed that one or two of my mortgage specialists are free to help anybody whose mortgage may be expiring and is located in the proximity of my application. One thing we can do is send out a giant email to everybody indicating, hey, if you come into our branch, we're going to uh, help you and lower your mortgage rate if you come renew with us right now. 
problem with that is not everybody checks their emails. We want this information to be really relevant and happen right away on a user's device as they're maybe walking by the branch. And if they're not walking by the branch or in the close proximity of the branch, there's no reason to notify them. So in order to do that, I'm going to jump into the left-hand side, which is our Experience Studio. And I'm going to go to the little tab that says Context Rules. Here we'll be able to create this use case and scenario. I've created three really simple rules that have one basic condition associated to them. Uh, the first one is low battery, which gets activated and triggered when the battery of my device is less than 20%. Tired, which gets activated when the steps are greater than 10,000 for the user. And I've created a persona for a high net worth customer, which we can grab from internal APIs that banks may provide us. So what I'm going to do is, because none of these rules really fit the use case that I just described, I'm going to create a new rule with you guys. So I'm going to click on new rule, and I'm going to give our rule a name. So because I'm going to be targeting people who need a mortgage renewal, I'm just going to call it a mortgage renewal. And then on the left-hand side, you see a, a list of context plugins that are available for me to drag and drop into my rule in order to activate it. We have things such as battery information, SIM card information, location, whether it's through Beacon or GPS, uh, fitness information, such as your step or what you're currently working on, as well as, as well as weather conditions. Each one of our customers sometimes has their own set of context plugins as we allow application developers to create their own context plugins and add them into this space as well. So what I'm going to do to mimic that use case that I just described is I'm going to go find the mortgage expiry plugin, drag and drop it into my rule editor, and a pop-up is going to appear where I can give some metadata associated to the rule. So as a branch manager or application developer, I want to target people whose mortgage is expiring in, let's say, less than six months to fit my use case. So I'm just going to enter six months. Click save, and a little condition is going to pop up on my rule. If I wanted to create this simple rule and click save, what would happen is that the not a notification can be sent out to everybody in our system whose mortgage is expiring in less than six months or 183 days. However, based on my use case, I don't necessarily want to target people who are located in Boston or Philadelphia or, or Des Moines. I want to target people who are walking by my branch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a beacon context plugin as well, which uh, I don't have a beacon on stage right now, but um, it's in my bag. Can That's you right. actually grab it, Jerry? Sorry about that. Uh, I just want to. So what I'm going to do is drag and drop the beacon into the rule, and I'm going to have two different beacons that I've created before in the past. I have an I beacon and Eddystone beacon, and we support both through the. Uh, Android SDK uh, and iOS SDK as well. So what I can do is I can click on register and register a new beacon if I want to, but for the purposes of this demo, I am going to just use one of the beacons that I've created before. So I have it here. So now it's close to my device. It'll be able to notice it. And I'm going to choose the iBeacon that I created earlier. So I'm just going to click save. And I'm going to select the and operator because I want both of these rules to be true so I can get the correct content. To finalize this use case, uh, as a branch manager, I may want to provide a discount to people who have a very good credit rating. So I'm going to drag and drop my credit rating context plugin into here. And I'm going to select that I only want to target people who have a credit rating greater than 724, as according to my little cheat sheet, that indicates that a user has very good or excellent credit rating. So I'm going to hit save, hit the and button again, and I'm going to create this rule now. Nothing happens in my application because I haven't associated this rule to any piece of content. So as you can see, my rule got created. It has the different contextual pieces. If I scroll, I can see all the different plugins. And if I hover over it, I can tell what those um, conditions are. So I'm going to click on my application. And I'm going to go into the branch for New York as we're located in New York. Right now in this branch, you see different types of content that, that I've associated with this branch. Um, right now, currently, only three of them are published, Make a Payment, Mortgage, and My Offers. And on the right-hand side, under the Services tab, you see that there's only two services, My Offers and Make a Payment. That's because we haven't associated a rule to mortgage yet, so it doesn't know that it needs to be activated for this device. So I'm going to click on the mortgage content. I'm going to let the structure load a little bit the screen. And here I've predefined some content that should be delivered to the device whenever that rule is activated. 
I have a GCM or APNS message that gets delivered to the device if their application is not on. And as well, I've indicated a representative that is available to see this user if they do come in and book a, an appointment with me. So what I'm going to do is click on the context rule piece and I can associate any of the rules that I have located under my name. So when I click on the rules, I can see the four different ones that you guys saw earlier and the mortgage renewal one which we created. As soon as I hit associate, something will happen on my device that indicates the content that we're putting this rule associated to. So to make the use case full, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the background and I'm going to simulate the phone being in my pocket and I'm walking by a branch which has this beacon maybe associated to the inside of the door of it. This person is already associated with a credit rating of 750, so he meets that condition, as well as their mortgage expires in less than six months. So what I'm gonna do is open up my message, associate the rule, and as you saw on the left-hand side, I got a notification on my screen indicating that uh, we noticed that your mortgage is expiring. If you come in and talk to one of our representatives, you uh, are eligible for a discount. As soon as I click on that notification, it's going to pop up. And on the top, I have a new little banner that indicates that John Smith is ready to meet me and help me with my mortgage renewal. And this is the same piece of content that I entered earlier and that I showed you guys. Now, to bring this use case full circle, what I'd like to do is associate a rule that's not associated to this phone. And what happens in that case is if one of the rules is false, it end, ends up getting removed from the device and that content is no longer relevant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a high net worth rule. In this case, this user is a business customer, as you can see on the bottom with the persona. And what will happen is because this rule won't be true, it should remove the top banner from my device. There it is. And it's back to my account because now I don't meet all the conditions that are associated with this piece of content. At the same time, we're also collecting lots of different types of analytics from the device. So we're, always, we're collecting information about the user, uh, different types of context, how many steps he's taken, what his device management information is, uh, what's happening around them in terms of weather, and we're storing this information and we can use it for historical data at a future point in time uh, based on the content that we have. You can get different information about how long they've spent in the application, how long they're viewing a specific piece of content, how much content has been delivered to each user, and that is all based on the different contexts that are available to, to each um, application and each user. So what we really try to do at Flybits is allow application developers to go in and fully create rules without having to update their application. I know as an application developer, I hate every time I have to update an app because I have to send it to the store. For Apple, I have to wait sometimes two weeks for it to get updated, when there might be a really simple use case that I can implement on the fly. And we at Flybits really want to try to create that, that ecosystem where it makes it a lot easier for not only application developers, but for marketing team, for digital officers to really go in and define how that application should build. The content that we see, that I see, that Jerry sees, that you see, should be different because our needs are completely different. And we want to put the power back into the hands of the application developers and allow them to change their applications on their own free will whenever they like without having to go in and change code every single time they want to add a new use case. So with that, I'm going to okay. pass it back monitor, to Jerry. Good. Thanks so much, Peter. Uh, so I just want to wrap up here and we'll be happy to give you demos at the uh, booth all day. But the key is that using Flybits gives unprecedented agility and collaboration to app developers and marketing teams. You take the SDK, inject it into your current app. Some people write new ones. Most people, like TD Bank, a big customer of ours, they're taking their current mobile app and enhancing it greatly using Flybits. It gives them access to all these context sources without any coding, so a lot of the infrastructure is pre-built. Any big customer, like a big bank, will have its own proprietary data sources, you know, credit scoring, mortgage histories, they can weave that in. And you use all this in an integrated fashion. You can change it on the fly without coding. And it gives you tremendous, tremendous agility uh, and faster time to market and a really radical reduction in the amount of coding needed. And just one final slide. Flybits is really built with privacy and security and to fit your brand. You have total control as an app developer or a marketer over the look and feel of the app. This is just a sample app that we created, not being a bank. 
the utility control that. Everything is tokenized and anonymized, so there's a very, very big focus on privacy. That's really essential. Uh, the customers that we sell to, the big enterprises, the retail banks and others, they have the uh, opt-in policies. They're very, very zealous about privacy and security. We honor that. So thank you for your attention today. Thank you, Peter, for an excellent demo. And we will see you at the booth, and we can go much deeper with details. Thanks, everybody.